What is the difference between F sharp and G flat? It's a question asked often enough, but what comes along less often is a satisfactory answer. It is my hope that by the end of this video, you will have not only an understanding of why there's a difference, but an understanding of how to use that difference to make, play, and talk about music more effectively. Let's start with a staple of music theory, the spiral of fifths. It shows that, starting from the naturals and using a chain of fifths, you can arrive at any note we could ever use in Western music. The sharps, the flats, the double sharps, the double flats, and so on. Also, notice that we can derive any diatonic scale from a continuous, unbroken chain of seven fifths. For one example, the G major diatonic scale can be generated from a chain of fifths from C to F sharp which rearranges to G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Neither of those facts is coincidence. In fact, it is by this chain of fifths that we define the notes that exist in Western music, and it is by any seven notes connected by an unbroken chain of fifths that we define our diatonic scales. So most simply, the difference between F sharp and G flat is each's different location in the spiral of fifths, and therefore the scales to which they do and do not belong. If you're using the G major scale, the right note is F sharp. And if you're using the D flat major scale, G flat is the correct note. But let's delve a little further and ask, so what? If they're the same pitch, why define things that way? First, Know that intervals are measured in a unit called cents, where there are 1,200 cents in every octave, 100 cents per half step, and therefore 700 cents per fifth, at least in standard Western tuning. Let's prove that F sharp equals G flat, specifically because the fifth is 700 cents. From F sharp to G flat in fifths is F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, or 12 fifths. Starting with G flat at zero cents and then adding 12 fifths times 700 cents per fifth gives you 8,400 cents. Dropping that note into the original octave by subtracting six octaves, or 8,400 cents minus 1,200 cents per octave times six octaves, gives you 8,400 cents minus 8,400 cents, which comes out to zero cents. Because zero cents is a unison, F sharp is equal to G flat. The G major scale and one four five one progression using these pitches sounds like this. And the same pattern, but replacing G flat for F sharp sounds exactly the same. The size of the fifth can change, however, and when it is not exactly 700 cents, then F sharp and G flat actually have different pitches. Motivations for adjusting the size of the fifth in the first place include better harmonic purity, or being more in tune, and melodic clarity with a starker contrast between major and minor. Still, the overall musical structures stay pretty much the same. If we flat the fifth a nearly imperceptible 5 cents to 695 cents, from F sharp to G flat in fifths is still 12 of these slightly flatter fifths, 12 fifths times 695 cents per fifth is 8,340 cents. Dropping that note down 6 octaves gives 8,340 cents minus 8,400 cents, which leaves us with negative 60 cents. That means that with a fifth of 695 cents, F sharp differs from G flat by 60 cents. The G major scale and 1 4 5 1 progression using these new pitches sounds like this. Different nuances from before, but recognizably the same thing. The same pattern, but replacing G flat for F sharp, sounds like this. It's
It's completely different, and quite wrong for that major scale sound we all know and love. Why would it turn out that F sharp sounds so much better in this context than G flat? Well, the decision to define our scales by unbroken chains of fifths is not arbitrary. Scales created by continuous unbroken chains of one given interval have perceptually relevant properties in music, where interval sizes are regular, with only two sizes per interval class, aka major and minor, and where the different step sizes are distributed evenly throughout the scale. For example, the diatonic scale has the minor seconds as far apart as possible among the major seconds. Such scales are called moment of symmetry, or MOS scales. Replacing a note like F sharp with another note like G flat, though they may be close in pitch, disrupts this regularity and voids the definition of MOS. You imply this difference between the sharps and the flats even when using standard western tuning with a fifth of 700 cents, where F sharp and G flat are the same pitch. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference between the sharps and the flats. They differ in their location in the spiral of fifths, which describes their difference in function, which is audible in tunings where the fifth is not 700 cents. Mmm.